Well, for more on how China is harnessing the internet to transform its economy, CCTV's Guang Xin looks at how brick and mortar stores are expanding their online businesses. Are brick and mortar stores redundant? Soon in Commerce Group, China's largest retailer, doesn't think so. It runs 1,700 stores across China, but it also had foresight to go online early. With rising popularity of laptops, smartphones and 3G technology, we clearly feel that the Internet has become an integral part of people's lives. So from 2009, we expanded our efforts to develop e-commerce. In 2009, the company launched Suning.com, diversifying from appliance sales to the full gamut of retail. Integrating online and offline resources has been the key for Suning's transformation. Consumers could go to an offline store to try out a product and buy it in its online store. The product will then be delivered through sophisticated logistics. Going to malls to shop is so passe. Nowadays, more consumers are ditching the hassle of driving and parking. They're heading online for their favorite e-malls. And just about everything is a click away from groceries to appliances. More importantly, the Internet is optimizing business models. Suning's cloud-based technology platform helps manufacturers, distributors, and retailers in managing logistics, marketing, and financing. For our suppliers, our credit service provides them with short-term loans with no collateral, based on big data and contracts. And for consumers, we offer a 2,000 yuan to 200,000 yuan credit limit based on their spending records. They can choose to repay in installments from three months to one year. China's largest internet giant, Alibaba, is hoping to create synergies out of Suning's offline reach and Alibaba's online prowess. Its August tie-up with Suning will see Alibaba invest 28.3 billion yuan in retailer for an almost 20 percent stake. Mr. Gao Hongbing, the vice president of Alibaba Group, also head of Alibaba's research arm. Technological innovation is central to Alibaba's development. Our highly innovative services are now interacting with traditional enterprises. In the next step, Internet Plus is the key. Alibaba as an Internet platform aims to integrate with traditional industries and create new business models. The Alibaba Suning tie-up creates formidable foe for JD.com, China's second-largest retailer, which racked up a record loss in 2014, even with revenues jumping 66 percent. Alibaba turned in a handsome profit, but margins are shrinking in 2015, and the stock is now trading below its IPO price. Gao Hongbing takes a long-term view. Alibaba does not see profit margin as a top concern for our strategic decisions. Our goal is to solve social problems, create value for users or consumers, and create innovations. This is our ultimate goal. Others disagree. Suning transforming from traditional retailer to e-commerce warns about bubbles. E-commerce companies have failed, even underperforming tradition stores, so a lot of small bubbles have already burst. Even for those companies that survived through several rounds of fundraising or went public, in the long run, they should be able to make a profit in a competitive environment. If not, they're doomed to fail. Speed bumps aside, China's e-commerce is a bright spot for the economy. Analysts estimate e-tail to rise 42 percent to $670 billion this year, far outpacing GDP growth. With the rise of cross-border e-commerce, rural e-commerce, mobile payments and cold chain logistics, unlocking the spending potential of 360 million Chinese online shoppers is still a lucrative, if extremely competitive, pursuit. 
冠星 CCTV Beijing。